Hey, what's up garden friends? My name is Kevin Jordan. Welcome back again to my garden. Today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about pruning citrus. It's winter time here in California. We've just started our and uh, finished our harvest. I'm going to get a few more to go. Got lots and lots of oranges that came off this year, mandarins, lemons, and all the good all the good stuff. So citrus are all those trees right there. So it's an evergreen tree, fruit tree. You got your lemons, your limes, grapefruits, uh, oranges, mandarins, tangerines, all those, right? And there's many more actually. So it's a big family. They, they, they can produce fruit throughout the year, but one thing that you might want to learn is how to take care of it. So on citrus trees, it's very similar to your other fruit trees, like your nectarines and plums and things like that. But the difference is, is that instead of waiting for them to go dormant uh, and to prune them really heavy, we actually, they never do that. They're evergreen, so they're gonna have their foliage all year long. And so what we do is the best time to do your heaviest pruning is gonna be right after you harvest. You, you definitely don't want to do a heavy pruning or any kind of real pruning um, as, as the leaves or the flowers are starting to bud up and form. So you really, or, or as the fruit's starting to form. So you wanna wait till all that work is done, wait till your tree has produced some delicious fruits, get in there, harvest them, pull them away. And then then is a really good time to notice all your dead branches, diseased branches, from, you know, you got your lot of sucker growth that we'll talk about. Suckers are those branches that grow right out of the base of a tree, usually below the graft point. And those suckers uh, sometimes look a little bit different than the rest of the tree. And sometimes it can get so bad that I've actually seen it uh, at an in-laws house where they moved into a home and they're like, hey, why is my tree not producing uh, lemons? It's a pretty healthy looking lemon tree. There's tons of branches. But the problem was is all the branching and uh, most of the foliage was all sucker growth. And so I was like, no, we got to prune it up. So I went in there, pruned it up. You get it cut all the way back, get all those suckers out of there. And guess what? Now that tree is healthy. It's got no suckers and it's producing tons and tons of lemons. And so that we're going to do that here. We're going to get rid of suckers. We're going to get rid of a lot of dead branches, diseased branches, dying branches, just like, um, like I said, uh, pruning other trees. Um, we're also going to shape our tree a little bit. Uh, with citrus, we, we definitely want to have a healthy shape. And so we're gonna make sure that the, the branches aren't heading down towards the ground, touching the ground. We're gonna to try to open up the skirt underneath our, our trees a little bit so that way air and light can pass through. You'll notice on some of the trees, I'll show you some footage, where like a lot of my lemon trees got so much fruit and have, have grown so much uh, over the past year that you can't see through them. It's just a big, big, you know, big old round shrub, essentially, uh, with tons of fruit on it and all the branches have closed off the tree, uh, the air around it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to harvest those fruit, that fruit, and then we're going to prune those branches and get them cleaned up. So that way we're not, uh, we can get air and light to kind of pass through that tree. That's what we want. We want air and light to kind of penetrate through the canopy of the tree to have healthier growth. Because a lot of the problems that, that arise with your citrus tree, you can kind of deal with ahead of time before you don't need, you don't need to, uh, you know, expensive, uh, what is it, pesticides and fungicides. What you can do is you can kind of prevent all that to begin with, with just healthy pruning. All right, so let's let's look at some examples and we'll see what we can kind of kind of work we get into. Of course, when you're pruning citrus, eyewear uh, especially is per, uh, important, even more protective than this would probably be ideal. On these fruit trees, I notice a lot of them have thorns, like on our uh, our lemons there, and so it's important maybe to have to wear gloves. I know I've been reaching in to harvest, and you, you get a you get a thorn or a needle right you know right in your fingertip. That's not much fun. Or if you get one in your eyeball, that would not be fun. So always protect yourself when you're pruning, but definitely have, get ready to have some fun. Let's learn together. Come on. All right, so for our first example, I'm gonna show you uh, dead branches. So sometimes these branches were doing good at one point, but there's so many more branches around them that have grown, they've, they're getting shaded out, and they, now they've kind of just withered back and died. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here and find out where they connect back to healthy branch and just cut them and remove those entirely. Let me see if I can show you a few more examples of that. So here's another really good example of some, some dead branching that just needs to get removed. You can see some right in here and uh, it has a different color. There's no leaves coming out of it. It's pretty clear that it's dead. Um, it doesn't take you know, a brain surgeon to figure that out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a healthy spot where I wanna take it back and I will cut, ow! See that? Yeah, that's why you wear gloves. Ooh, yeah, that does not feel good. Ooh, come on, baby. It's hard to do. Like... Oh, there we go. So now we got that out. Let's take a look at it. So you can see that that was not looking good. Bunch of dead stuff. That... The only green material on there is not looking good either. Actually, all, all the leaves are slowly falling off. So that's gone. And so we'll get back in here and we'll do this to all of our trees. And with citrus, I noticed this does this a lot where we'll have little clusters of branches that kind of die out. And so it's really important to get in there and cut out any of that dead material because what it does is then it makes room for all that fresh growth to kind of take over. Here's a really great example of some sucker growth that needs to be dealt with. You can see all those branches coming out from the base of the stem. 
those are all suckers and those are just going to get bigger and they're going to go straight up through the canopy of this tree um, they have some pretty serious thorns on them they're not going to produce any any fruit that we want and so the best thing to do is get in there and actually just cut them out as much as you can some of these smaller ones i can cut with my hand pruner but if you notice they're actually growing out of the bigger sucker right here that's actually a sucker right there the whole thing so he's oh my gosh Ooh. okay so there you go let's see if i can get the big one oh oh baby okay, that's a big one okay and it's all growing from the base so what i'm gonna do is actually come back here with my loppers and deal with these because you can see this one's um not good for these pruners that they're not going to do it but what we can do is get in here and get that removed you can see this is the good trunk right there that's what we want to reveal but what we want to get rid of for all these suckers trying to pop right out of it and grow up through the center of that canopy that's not good there's actually a bunch you can see over the next tree over let's see if i can zoom in that's next those ones are suckers as well and so this happens a lot with citrus so that's one that's one thing you definitely want to look for because they will get out of control and so you want to get after them pretty pretty early and often all right so the last time i'm going to bring up suckers i promise but look how bad these ones are right here and uh i prune these back right in the spring completely to nothing so watch this those little ones right there are actually we're gonna try to follow them up i'll show you look here yep here they keep going you see there's a couple of them right there two of them that one and that one and look how tall they go right through the center of this tree and they look kind of similar to all the other branches right but those are those two tall ones right there those are suckers and they went up from spring to now they went from the base of this tree all the way up through the canopy and now it's starting to outgrow the top of the canopy and once it's to the top it's got it's got nothing to slow it down it's got lots of sunlight up there so what we need to do is get in here all the way back down to the ground get in there find where they're at and prune them back really really tight like i said if you have to you get your loppers in there or even a handsaw and, and and cut them out but those have to go because for citrus this is one of the best things you can do if you're gonna be pruning to, for, for your citrus to have good health is to get in there and get these suckers out of there right boom there you go now here's a really good example of just an overgrown shrub like uh citrus here this is a, a improved mire it's a delicious little lemon tree and we actually had two of them pretty close together um but what happened is this they just both blew up this last summer and grew so much from when we left school in the spring and produced tons and tons of fruit i've actually harvested this several times over and you can see there are just packed full but the problem is is even though it looks great it's um if we leave it like this it's it's going to get worse so the growth is way too dense in there and it, and, it, and it goes all the way to the floor, all the way to the ground here, to our mulch. And so I'm going to have to get in here and prune this back. And I usually probably want to leave a, a gap underneath. You see the tree next to it? That one's been pruned a little bit um, from last season. So you can see it still needs some pruning right there. Look at that branch is all full and going to the ground. That's not ideal. We'll harvest those and then trim that, that branch up because you want it looking more like that, where you have open, little airy, it's about maybe, you know, two, two feet or so at least of airflow underneath the tree before that first branch starts. So it's usually good for me and so you can see this one is like and it's not even two inches off the ground and so we'll have to get in there and prune that back so that's really important as well wow look look at this look how good look how good this young mandarin tree i think this is like a tahoe gold mandarin and they're awesome really good flavor but you can see this tree it goes comes right up against this fence and it is just packed full but a lot of the branches that were off the ground uh, like i said last spring are now so heavy with fruit and have grown a bit longer over the summer they're now on the ground so this is another really good example of a tree in need and so we got to get in here i got to harvest all all this fruit that's ready to go and then give it a haircut and so for it that's going to mean cutting a lot of those lower branches to raise up uh, the, the skirt of the canopy to let uh, light and air penetrate through and then i'll go through obviously and look for dead branches disease branches dying branches open up the center a little bit you can see right here here's a good example of some some dead branches that have to go and so these are ones i'll harvest right harvest whatever's left this is also a mandarin tree a young one but this tree this branch right here got you know it got burnt up or something so it's not doing well and so it, i'm not going to worry too much about what happened just prune it all back find some fresh material you know make a good choice cut it back when you have to like here's another one you can see that that's dead that's not going to do anything but the rest of the tree is doing just fine and so what we can do is cut that material out and then make make room for new growth to come hey look there's bearsy over there hey bear 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 hey peanut 
Well, hey, hey, I think that about wraps up today's lesson on how to prune your citrus trees at home. I hope you learned a little bit. Mainly, get rid of those suckers. Get rid of all that dead, uh, disease dying branches. Try to open up the center if you can. Create some good healthy shape. Clear out the underneath of that canopy to let light, light and air flow through. And, and always, happy gardening and best wishes.